Hey everyone, here with a late night update for the cruising class. Um, I've been watching these guys for a little while now, and it appears they're having just a great cruise right up the rum line. Uh, all the reports here from, from the boats as they go up are they're doing really, really good speeds, kind of on a just right of north trajectory right along the rum line, and that's a pretty great thing. They're, they're making great VMG. They're moving right up the course. And... Uh, as evidence of their tweets over the last few hours, they are having a great time as well. Uh, we can check in with Jasmine here a while back. This looks like to be about sunset time. Two hours ago, they're having quesadilla casserole, full bellies, getting ready to take some naps. Uh, Endeavor, Matt and Emily, they're having barbecue pulled pork and mashed potato casserole. That sounds delicious. A lot better than the cold pizza I had here on land. Uh, keep moving up the line. We got Infinite Diversion saying similar things about the sunset, and actually they posted up here. Uh, they were checking out the Milwaukee fireworks, so not a bad cruise for these guys. I think they have clear skies, lots of stars, good wind, really, really pleasant evening sail. So they're going to keep trucking along, uh, at least for a little while. So we'll check in in the morning, see where they all stand, how they all shook out over the night. Um, it seems like a lot happens in the dark, so it's... Uh, it's a time for people to make gains and, and potential distractions to take people uh, back a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, all the best to them over the night, and uh, hopefully they have a safe and a continuing pleasant sail. So we'll pop up here the, the forecast we have uh, from Chris Bedford from Sailing Weather Service. He's been kind enough to uh, constantly update us with uh, with weather updates. And and would like to take your steps through starting tomorrow morning into... Uh, into tomorrow night and into Sunday, see how this progresses. So what what we see here is the forecast for 0700 tomorrow morning is fairly similar to what we're seeing now with the cruising class. I think they're seeing um, a little bit of a southeast moving south as they're going further north, and this seems to be holding pretty true. And if it continues, they might have seven or eight hours more of this, and that's uh, that's a pretty good thing because they're moving really well with this kind of wind. There's a beam reach on, on starboard tack with the big spinnaker up there just moving moving really nicely so this could continue if the forecast holds because they go into 1300 Saturday 1pm uh, they'll likely be up here they're still in what would be better pressure so the green the greener color greener than purple is uh, higher pressure so that's that's upwards of 10 to 12 knots and that could be what they're seeing by midday tomorrow um, what we see, though, at the south end of the lake is more concerning for our racing fleets. So they're going to be getting going at 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And, and what we're seeing down here is a, a bit of thermal activity that's going to cause a lot of confusion. Uh, it's going to be heavily influenced by the warm land. Uh, it's going to be kind of funky to get through. So the more experienced sailors are going to figure out how to navigate this. And it's it's a bit of a trappy area for, for the others. It, it could be some, some light pressure if you don't play this right or if this doesn't move as quickly as you think it might um, we'll see how that goes after the start tomorrow uh, moving into later in the day Saturday so the the obvious is we're under a, a pretty a pretty strong high pressure which is just planted itself right over the lake that's causing some of this thermal activity to occur so we'll see how this thing moves it looks as though according to the forecast it's going to move up 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 the lake and towards the east and what you'll see happening here is you'll see this apparent easterly breeze kind of going towards the shore, which makes a lot of sense um, with uh, the thermal activity that may be occurring along the Michigan shore. But you take it into uh, the next day, Sunday, you start to see it kind of switches back to the west. And uh, when that happens, that, that really plays against the thermal activity that will likely be happening with the, the sunny days and, and the warm land and the cold water. Uh, the breeze is really, when you get towards the shore, it's going to want to go on shore. But if the, the gradients are pulling it the opposite direction, that's really going to cancel it out. So I really foresee a lot of people avoiding the east side of the lake. Uh, we'll see how that plays out, but I really think the, the chosen route would be the west side, kind of going up the Wisconsin border. And uh, it might be the name of the game is when do you cut across. So we'll see how that plays out. That's a long ways out to speculate, but... Um, we'll see how it progresses. So that's a quick hit on the cruising class tonight and the weather as we see it 
kind of progressing tomorrow into the early hours of Sunday. Um, all the best to the cruisers out there, and uh, everyone have a great night. We'll talk tomorrow.